Hey, what's up guys? I wanted to make a video showing you guys what I am doing to fix my thyroid and heal my body of all the stress that has been going on in the last half year. And so, the first thing that I'm going to show you is the supplements, all the supplements that I'm taking. So let's place the camera place the camera on this little thing see if it'll stay no it will not okay right there um, I just got this one in the mail this supplement is thyroid support by Gaia and what it has in it is ashwagandha root which is an adaptogenic herb which is good for your adrenals and apparently your thyroid and your whole body I guess um, comes with a seaweed blend of kelp fronds and brown seaweed fronds and then um, an extract blend of coleus for I'm oh, just gonna let you look at it cuz those are words that I do not know. So that's what's in it. There's also L-tyrosine, and it says this is 100% vegetarian and dairy-free, and I'm, I'm guessing that they're not using eggs. So I'm assuming it's vegan. I could be wrong, but I've heard good things about it. And yeah, so I'm taking this. I just started taking this today and we'll see how it goes. It has iodine in it, that's what the seaweed blends are for. And here's my cabinet of drugs. Um, I'm taking this not as often, just, I took it today. Uh, I took it today just because I wanted to take it, I guess. I'm not taking it all the time, but it's a vitamin D3. It's a super like healthy one, so that's why I don't want to take it too much, especially when it's sunny outside. I can just get out in the sun. Um, I've been taking B12. This isn't a sublingual, but I've also been doing injections, so I'm not too worried that my levels are low now. Um, but I'm going to continue to supplement with this, and I'm almost out, so I'm probably I have a bunch of other B12. I have like a five milligram and a one milligram these ones aren't as high quality and they have other ingredients that i don't like but i don't know maybe i'll go to the store and get a new one of these because these ones are way cleaner whole food version um i did take i took this ashwagandha yesterday and today before i got my uh, thyroid support because I didn't know that it had ashwagandha in it and so I probably won't take this and the thi thyroid support I'll probably just take the thyroid support uh, but taking I took rhodiola and yeah this but I took rhode rhodiola twice uh, yesterday and today and I'll probably keep taking I'll probably keep taking it I don't know this is a really confusing video um, yeah, so I may or may not be taking this. I've taken it twice. I think it may be helping. Uh, we'll see. All right, so that is all of the supplements that I'm taking. Um, I also have B12 injection stuff with me. Uh, I guess I'll show you that because it's kind of cool. Doing like drugs and stuff. Doing drugs is pretty cool. Not really. Don't do drugs. Um, 
But in here we got, let's see, the alcohol cleaning pads to disinfect stuff. These are all my used needles. And these are all the syringes. These are syringes that I get to use. And right there, that's that. Um, and I'll, I'll show you the show you the actual B12 liquid right here. Got to be careful. Uh, this is the liquid. You can see it. See that red? Yeah. So that's that. I'm gonna inject. I injected myself 18 days in a row. Well, not myself. Some of those days I got from the doctor. But I just wanted to get my levels up, and so now I still have a lot that I'm gonna take sporadically throughout the next couple of weeks. Another thing that I'm doing is there is chlorine in the water in our tap water, which I use to cook and drink water from. So at one of the stores there is a um, like a, a filtered water uh, a reverse osmosis water filter thing that you can get a bunch of water from so I got this big five gallon jug of of clean water that was like two bucks which is good and so I've been using this for my drinking water I'm not using it for anything else um, just because I feel like that'd be too much of a hassle, but I've been drinking this filtered water, so hopefully that reduces the amount of chlorine in my system, which can therefore allow the iodine, the iodine in the supplements and foods to be used. And there's a FedEx dude. A FedEx dude is here, and now he's walking away. If you can see him. I get so awkward with them I like don't want to be seen and it's just weird but that package was not for me because I know it was not for me it's for my roommate and so um, what else am I doing for my thyroid and my health situation at the moment um, pretty much eating I'm eating more fat, uh, for sure. I'm eating like pumpkin seeds, and I've added in some dulse. Sometimes has extra iodine. Um, I was taking some maca powder. Got some maca powder that I take every once in a while if I make a green smoothie, which isn't every day. Um, I've been taking, eating Brazil nuts been eating Brazil nuts, two of them every day to get selenium, which is important for the thyroid. And been, I just got today some hemp seed that I'm gonna be using more, I'm trying to get good fats in my system. I've been eating a lot of greens, or not a whole lot, but I usually average like probably average like a bundle of spinach or romaine every day and I've been trying to eat more vegetables eat more blueberries and fruit trying to make sure that I'm getting enough vitamin C like peppers and the spinach and yeah that's all the kind of oh I guess I'll show you my banana stash my bananas um but yeah so Basically, I'm taking all those I'm taking all those supplements and I'm trying to reduce uh, stress as much as possible. That can that's probably one of the biggest things that have that's influenced me to be kind of in this need to recuperate mode. And another thing that I'm going to try to do is get on a better sleep schedule. Uh, I think that the past six months I've had blood sugar issues allowing it to get too too low and I think that's in part because of one exercising too much sometimes and two 
sleeping too much to the point where so sleeping too many hours and then not eating quick enough right after I get up from sleeping because uh, the last few days I've been sleeping like around 12 hours and I wouldn't eat directly right, at, right after I got up and part of the reason why is because I would drink like a liter of water right when I got up and allow that water to kind of get through my system before I started um, before I started eating uh, and I think that allowed my blood sugar to get too low and so I'm gonna try to do that or try to keep my blood sugar stable I think that eating more protein and and healthy fats will help to keep it more stable and yeah what else was I gonna say I was gonna say one more thing What was I gonna say? I don't know what I was gonna say. Yeah, that's basically what I'm doing for my health situation at the moment. Uh, I actually do feel, this is a long video, I actually do feel, maybe I'll cut it up and make it not so, so long. But this, what was I saying? I actually do feel a little bit more energized today and part of the reason is because I woke up a little bit earlier and got food into my system right away and I've been taking those supplements and so I think that it is helping a little bit. Um, yeah, we'll just have to see. I'm not gonna, another thing I'm not trying to do is overwork myself in terms of exercise. So I'm trying to find the balance of getting out there and like walking around and like carrying things and I'm not trying to overwork myself so probably not any intense exercise for a while or until I'm feeling better or able to do it but yeah this has been a long video so I'm gonna leave it at that we'll check in with this topic throughout the summer and yeah peace